The challenge is when an entrepreneur starts his advisory board, he doesn't need more people to say yes. Um, he doesn't need people who agree with him. He needs people who will bring different perspectives. But just having the same perspective that he's got is not going to help him either. So he needs to first understand what are the holes in his experience and in his knowledge that he needs to fill first. So you have to start the whole process of deciding your advisory board by understanding what gaps do I need to fill first. That's the essence. An advisory board um, is going to evolve as you, as the entrepreneur and your startup evolve. And you need to meet not only today's needs in terms of the composition of your advisory board, but tomorrow's needs. So for instance, today you might need help with regulatory matters, you might need help with assembling a business plan, you might need help with the technology itself. So you're going to look for people who can help you in those different areas. But tomorrow, you're going to need help with sales and marketing. To help those skills be most effective tomorrow, bring them on today. Bring them on today so they understand the context, they understand the evolution, they understand the solution, so that when it comes time to seek advice from your advisory board on matters of sales and marketing, they're ready to, to contribute. You don't want all of one discipline, all accountants, all lawyers. In fact, it's the assembly of this composite of diverse skills that actually is going to allow all members of the advisory board to perform more effective, effectively and have perform more effectively not only in helping the business itself and advance the cause of the company but also help you as the entrepreneur in your development. Every company interfaces with a lot of different stakeholders. You, you know, customers are the most obvious one, but also perhaps financiers, perhaps regulators, perhaps people, other people in, in the business of whatever kind of technology you're using. And all of those stakeholders have different perspectives and different views on what your company does, what they provide to them. It's ideal to, for you to have people that can advise you, that help you uh, understand and empathize with those uh, stakeholders. And so if you can bring in somebody that, again, if you're dealing with financiers, someone from the venture capital side that can tell you, you know, help you to talk the language of the venture capitalists, or, or if you're dealing with regulators, that helps you to understand where the regulators are coming from. So you're not sort of blindsided when you, you know, put your application forward. Understand the view of your business from your various stakeholders' point of view. One of the things about an advisory board that I think is so important is what I call the need for positive tension. Um, this is not a love fest. You know, you're starting a business, you don't know what you don't know, so you need advice. You need a sounding board. So you need an advisory board that's going to be assembled of people capable of providing these. But there are times you're going to come to the advisory board seeking advice on an idea or a plan. And that idea may be so wrong-headed that, and you're so emotionally caught up in it, that you don't realize how wrong-headed it is. You need people who are going to give you the right advice for the longer term for your business, not agree with everything you, you come up with. So that means you've got to relax, suspend disbelief, accept the fact that you don't know everything, that you've assembled the right advisory board with, with the right skills and experience, and heed their advice. You need to listen to them. If you don't agree with them, make sure they understand that you don't agree and why, and you may then learn more about why they're taking the position they're taking. But in the end, you're asking these people for their time, you often are not in the startup situation able to pay them. So their reward has to be in, in terms of fulfillment. Fulfillment in helping you and seeing you prosper and having difficult conversations. If you don't listen to them, you'll lose them.